what is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another seeking sister wife and this one here is episode 14 yes of season four i want to say it's the last episode of the season but uh, who knows anyway with that actually it should be it should be because next week is the premiere of 90 day single life and also sister wives this has to be the last week yes Anyway, with that being said, though, let's give a big, big, massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, that is a member of Patreon, and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. And with that being said, let's get into this week's episode. Oh, damn. Before the crew arrived to film Roberta's arrival to the US, Garrick and Daniel received an unexpected text. I mean, a part of me isn't even surprised, but anyway, we continue. I feel like I'm watching an, 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 um, an aud audition for like a, a tragic film or something. <laughs> I really shouldn't be making, making, making fun of it, but Daniel, uh, you know what? Let's just watch the damn thing. Bloody hell. Mm -hmm. Let us know that she's just not gonna come. It just doesn't make sense. She sent some message to me. Um, I promised that I would get there even after everything on the trip. I tried, tried a lot, but it can't feel the same as before. Everything that took me by surprise, I was left feeling excluded, feeling like nothing. It was so humiliating for me, all asking how I was feeling, finding out that Garrick and Leah went beyond just conversation and dinner. After that day, I kept thinking that everything we had that was beautiful, special, and pure has has broken a piece and is hurting too much, sister. Maybe for you it may seem like something easy to go through, but, but here we have another culture. I'm going to pray, shower, try to get some sleep. My head has been hurting a lot since yesterday. I'm sorry we're all sad. She messaged me that after I was begging her not to do this, and then she sent me that. Like I was like, please don't do this. Like Please, let's work this out. Please talk to me. Please, like, please don't do this. Like, after three and a half years, please don't do this. I don't know. I guess I don't even believe it. I'm sorry, but listen, first and foremost, I want to say, right, anyone that is diagnosed with bipolar, I don't mean it's an effective way, but Danielle, you see, but once she's a Gemini, that I mean, that I definitely mean in an offensive way. <laughs> Come at me, Gemini's. But even once she's a Gemini, because they are literally Jacqueline and Hyde, mm -hmm, or she's legit bipolar, because the thing that I cannot fathom right now is that why is Danielle more upset than Jerry? Jerry is the one that was madly in love with Roberta. And Danielle has had her issues with Roberta. At the very beginning, she's had issues with her back and forth. Yeah, she's done it. She, she's done it her. Yeah, she's tried hard to, you know, amend situations or not to be so bitter. All that kind of mumbo jumbo, which I highly respect. But why is she acting so freaking irate? Like, but what? What did what did she lose from Dan from 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 Roberta not coming to the U.S. anymore? That's what I want to know. Why is she so crushed? I thought she'd have low key been happy. Is this ah uh, something just doesn't seem right with the story with, with with Daniel's actions? It's like I know she cries a lot, but over Roberta, what well, I see usually this way, man. 
Telling you, man, it's either one, she's bipolar, two, she's Gemini, or three, there's some heavy scripting going on here that, that, that just doesn't make sense, which is a common thing for TLC shows. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. To share. I just can't believe it. It's been three and a half years. I know, and then just to give up on us. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. Garrett's helping me bring my stuff back down to his master. We made preparations for her arrival and her coming. Um, getting our upstairs master ready with beds and um, so I'd have stuff up there and stuff down here. Okay. Yeah, just getting ready for her to be here. I'm so hurt and then I'm so angry at the same time. I got divorced for her, like, and she won't even come here. So she's blaming her. You know what, Daniel's. I am. Did I miss something? Like, is she upset maybe because Roberta was, was the one who was going to bring the baby into the house? Is she upset about that? I don't know. Like, what she thinks was her fault? She thinks she let down Jerick? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. But okay. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. She wouldn't even face us after three and a half years. <laughs> Let's even think. Like, obviously, she just doesn't love. I think part of me doesn't want to move my stuff back down yet because, like, part of me thinks maybe. Maybe any possibility? I truly loved her as a sister, and like, it just. You were married to her, and we committed to each other for life. How could you treat somebody you said you love? I mean, that's obviously not true. But. Just hurt, and just. Sad. Like, just sad. I don't even know what to say, man. I mean. <laughs> I'm definitely devastated. My heart hurts. Yeah. I mean, I gave my whole heart to her. My family did. I'm devastated that she couldn't love us back. I mean, I guess the hardest thing is we sincerely loved her with our whole hearts and gave ourselves completely. It was honor, integrity, steadfastness, commitment to everything. Not only then, then she's hurting her kid and her whole parents. family. <sighs> we need to tell our family the fullness of what's going on. This sucks. This just really sucks. I feel like they're going to make this whole episode about these two primarily. Jesus, like, there are other people in the show, you know, but okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. this the whole time they, we're never gonna know we're never gonna know the truth i mean god knows and that's we'll take it. care of it you know? it's in his hands so. maybe that's it god's just showing us he doesn't make mistakes and everything happens for a purpose even if it hurts and even if it's you know really hard to go through he loves us and he doesn't make mistakes you know that something good's gonna come out of this i guess it does make me scared like going forward and like trying to continue like getting over this and actually trying to date again like i don't know just the, the amount of like deceit that like, your mind can't even like process that like how how somebody can do that you know i mean this doesn't give you doubts about living this way does it no i mean think about the love and care we had like it made us so much closer like and love each other deeper i love you You ask me, <clears throat> I think these two should just be together in a monogamous relationship and not be trying to bring other people into the relationship. That's it. 
I mean, after that experience, I mean, they've had two breakups. They've had, they've had two breakups in one season. They're the first girl, Leia, Leia, I'm not too sure. She left. Roberta then mugged them off or left, whatever. So maybe it's just meant to be you two in your relationship and nothing else. You talk about God doesn't make mistakes. Well, maybe he's trying to show you guys that you don't need an extra person in your relationship. Your relationship is fine, but it's just you two. It's no freaking brain like you don't get dumped twice in one season and then still still continue i mean you can if you want to but because they said that god doesn't make mistakes it tells me that maybe his sign is that you two just need to be together and that's it yeah. let me know what you think mm -hmm. and subscribe at the same time but let's continue to you right i i can't even hate on nick to be honest with you. i just can't because you know what they have their house in order they've got this stuff solid i mean obviously i don't respect the fact that he doesn't work and they do all the work for him because that's the suspect but in general just like what's the day on when like they're all seem to be happy and stuff and like it just works like that like What's, what's the trick, Nick? You know what I mean? I mean, personally, I still wouldn't want to be in this type of life, per se, because, boy, man, that's a headache. Like, you got to accommodate more than one woman. That's, that's a lot of work, you know? I mean, damn, like, man, Jesus. But yeah, man. All I know is that, all I know is that he's got it more under control than flipping Marcus. Marcus, oh, God. Just rounds of applause. Being one of the ladies that gets to love you for the rest of my life. I mean, you know, I just, I just want to bow, bow to you, and I can't right now. You're the king of our hearts. And I want to bow to you. Okay, you know, I kind of take back some things I just said. That's just weird. What do you mean, bow? He's not a king, you know? He doesn't, he doesn't provide you anything but D. That's about it. Calm yourself down. I might want to bow to him. What's wrong with you, girl? Have some self respect. What, what is this nonsense? Hmm. Thank you so much. I vow to take care of you guys until we're old and great. I love you guys. <laughs> And I've just been up here crying the entire time. Uh, I honestly didn't ever think I should be this happy. I didn't think happiness like this really existed until I found a love like this. I almost don't have words because it's like, is this really my life? Do I really get to be this happy with these people? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of getting weird now. It's just getting weird. It's just getting. I, I, I just, it's just, just these all these women are just crying over this gone guy. I'm baffled. What kind of? What kind of magic stick does he have, man? Um, but it's, it's just it was weird now. Like, they were just, they get done looking sweet with that crap. This is just, you know, this is the greatest thing in my life. I never knew I could do this. Damn, like, what, what, what's, what kind of wand does this guy got? Damn, I'm slacking, but I need a better wand. What's going on here, man? <laughs> but my wand works just fine, ladies. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> 
I love the most. And, you know, you kind of grow up and kind of have this image of love and what it's supposed to be and, you know, your life. And then you stumble upon something so unconventional, something so untraditional. I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than where I am right now with my favorite people. <laughs> Ugly cry, don't bite me. Um, <laughs> I mean, what, what what more is there for me to say after all? Um, it's just you all are so beautiful, and I love you all for your selflessness coming together to create this wonderful life. Uh, I'm living a dream. There's, there's no doubt about it. And the way that you all uh, help me to be the best Nick that I can is something that I can never thank you enough for. I mean, together we will always be on the right path. Jennifer, Danielle, do you take each other to have, to hold, to honor, to respect? To love and to always cherish. Always and, and always. always. You may now, my brother, kiss your wives, your bride, your queen, <laughs> your, your goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Having three wives, knowing that we've all solidified our union and brought it together like we have, it's it's just unbelievable. <laughs> just feel like I'm just living a dream come true. Things I never knew I could wish for that I'm being given and, and granted is just I just love it. Everything about it. <laughs> So now I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. and Mrs. and Mrs. I'd be, I'd, I'd be mortified. I would be absolutely E I S S E D. Mm -hmm. I mean, Derek and I have just been racking our brains, like racking our brains, like what happened. And then we look back and re remember certain things and like these red flags and like she had such a struggle, like agreeing to a time we could book a ticket. Like if you love somebody, aren't you like, I want to come like now. Was she just using us for money the whole time? Like it makes us wonder. How much money did you guys actually give her? <laughs> a lot. It was $9,800, and then she asked us, jeez. Just this last time, 98 Man. Oh, I don't even know. I just thought it was just kind of bizarre. I was just like, oh, my gosh, they gave them 10000 Like, that's a lot of money. That's not even, like, all the past. What you gave her, that's a lot of money. For over three years now, we had sent her quite a large sum of money a month. It was thousands of dollars, definitely in thousands and thousands. I mean, she, it sounded really legit. Well, of course. She did know she wasn't coming. Doesn't matter how legit it sounds. Stop sending people money that you, that, that, that. Three years of being scammed, like, really? Now I'm, now I'm annoyed. And I don't want to cry, but now I'm annoyed. 
not because they got scammed, but just because of the stupidity. Like, like, come on, man. Like, Americans do better. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Nah, come on. She's scammers. You're the type of people scammers look for. People that care and want to help you. God is love and God died on a cross to save us from our sins. Like, love just doesn't treat people that way. <laughs> I think my heart just hurt so bad because I just wanted somebody to have the love that I have and, like, obey our family. And, like, I wanted her to have kids and I wanted her to have, like, everything that God's given me. And she didn't want that. So it's just hard to understand. And maybe we got divorced for her so she could come. And now she's just saying she's not going to come. <laughs> like, it didn't even mean anything. I mean, how do you guys go from to the future? Like, how do you step into the future? Do you question, like, should you live this lifestyle? Maybe you guys should give it a break? No, no, no definitely not. I mean, I feel like God wants us to live this way. I don't question that. I know everything happens for a reason, and I don't want to stop loving. I don't want to stop. I want to have a sister. I want, like, you know, there's somebody good out there. We did it for love. And we would do it again. For now, it's going to be me and Danielle. You know, we're going to not give up, you know, search. All you need is just you and Danielle. Searching for a sister wife. God promised Danielle a sister, and if Roberta, she wasn't the one. So, you know, she's out there, and I just pray this next time that it's a sincere, you know, faithful, trustworthy person that will just stay by us and, you know, live with us and stick it out for a lifetime. Very thankful that we have our families. We're together. Really? Okay. Uh, how good? Are you? Oh, good. Yeah. You feel good about everything? Yeah. No regrets. No hesitations. I've known for some time. This is what I want. Oh, uh, thank you. I don't think it was as weird as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't anything different than a normal wedding, other than there's more people. <laughs> We are in the process of seeking, and we have been uh, dating here and there. We will take our time with that process. You know, it's not anything we're rushing to. We like things to develop organically, so we're gonna take things as they come. Did, did they ever? Did they not ever catch catch a break? They're already seeking another one. After this wedding, how many? How many? How many are they looking to add to the family? I mean, like that April man, the head honcho, she's like, yeah, we we we've been dating already. We've been looking already. You know what I'm saying? Like, each is of their own. Whatever keeps his family happy, keeps him going. You know what? You do you. No judgment made. That's it. I mean, listen, they have been the least toxic ones anyway throughout the season, if anything. Well, you know, those few le least toxic. Yeah, them and the, the, the creepy couple, man. The skinny guy with the girl. Yeah, they, 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 they wasn't toxic neither. Yeah. As long as it's not toxic, I guess it's working, right? You can't judge something that's not toxic. But you can advise something that is toxic. Judge it. It's not judge that. Buy it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, <clears throat> let me know what you're thinking down below. You know, what I mean, I uh, will. I guess mainly about the Jerick and Daniel situation. Did you see the scam coming? Was you blind as much as Daniel and Jerick was, or was you not? Let me know what you're thinking. We'll talk about it. But hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.